Occupying the same flight case yes, they were. At, at Arrington? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, so so uh, they're. Maybe you should release them. What do you think, Mary? I'll release them separately? That, that's what my one thought was. One, yeah, yeah, the one, yeah. let it do yeah, its thing. They're, they're both in the same flight cage, but now that they're back here, they're releasing them together. And right. Yeah, no, I was thinking sequentially, you know, with yeah. a little bit of a pause yeah. between. Yeah, yeah. Either, either but at least they have been spending time together yeah. in the same flight. Yeah, yeah. actually, quite unique. Yeah. 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 And Mike, briefly, the story of how they were rescued. Um, well, of course, a call came in that there were a couple of eagles in trouble, and they were uh, all uh, tangled, is what they were, and they'd fallen to the, uh, to the ground through the tree canopy and were quite uh, tangled up in a bunch of salal and other undergrowth and um, they were quite tired but still had quite a bit of energy and uh, we had to separate them and because uh, they were still clutching each other and so as you would know uh, we uh, the way we do that is we cover them with a blanket to keep them um, the calm and then proceed to do the separating and then separately uh, put them in containers and transport them. Okay. And this is the next leg in their journey to return them to their freedom. Right, so. I think we need to get going here, folks. Again, it's so nice to meet you. See you again soon. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So. Okay. I was you, man.
Um, I just want to let you know we have the Eagles. We're just docking at Retreat Cove, so we should be down your way within 20 minutes or so. And it's um, the people from Salt Spring didn't come over, so it's going to be me and I, Penny and perhaps Thomas. And, uh, um, and I did let the rescue people know, so Janelle possibly might be there. Uh, not quite sure. But Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you. You get out of here and I'll go. I don't know what to say other than just checking to see if the birds are looking like they're okay with this trip. So much better to see them. <coughs> Standing up. So we <clears throat> need to keep them in the dark to keep them calm because this is pretty stressful for them. I imagine it is. Hi. So, uh, and the rain would just start. Yeah. <laughs> Darn. Um, just thinking about a, a location, and obviously you've got a nice open area, so I would suggest we just take them down there. Sure. And we'll do, uh, we won't lease them both at once. Um, uh, we'll space them, is what I'm suggesting. Oh, okay. And uh, when we open the gate... <laughs> Everyone runs? Uh, well, then we want to be back from that, and we'll just oh, reach in and that. open it. Uh, okay. It, it's possible that an eagle will just bolt out of there. It's also quite possible it won't move at all. Oh. Well, that'll be disappointing. It, right? Oh, okay. So the, these birds have been flying in uh, a flight cage up at the North Island Wildlife Center in Arrington. And so they fly. Uh, they wouldn't give them back to us to release here if they weren't capable, yeah. fully capable of flight. But they've had a long journey today. Right. Um, and they've been confined. So they're obviously a bit stressed. So we just want to um, take it slow and quietly and and not rush things, and it should all go well. Let's hope. Okay. Sounds good. I don't I think, think they're stressed at all. Yeah, yeah? You no, think so? Are they not. asleep? Are they? I think they're really sad. <laughs> they're not that went on your all. shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not a big deal. Okay.
but I uh, now well, I was gonna say we can put the draw scores, but I definitely think John and Lou should release one if not both of them. Because they're oh. responsible for the for them being alive actually. <laughs> This one isn't just pulling on its own. Shouldn't that just... Yeah, yeah. Have to do, um, no, you shouldn't have the latches and it's broken. Yeah, the knob's broken. That's what it is. Okay, so, yikes. So it's ready to go. Now, you don't, nobody wants to be in front. So the way you do this is you stand behind the cage. Somebody's territory, and probably not both of them. So one of them is probably both males, right? Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So it's likely that one was an interloper into somebody oh. else's territory, and they had a dispute about things. Oh. <laughs> so I don't know whose territory this was. I'm assuming it was one or the other's territory. It may not have been. They may have just been normal male around and having some issue over a woman or food. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Or land. Very gay. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> They wouldn't be fighting, but right? <laughs> so, how's that other bird? Still out there. Still out there. We don't want to leave it forever. It's getting its bearings, obviously. Yeah. Oh, it's already. So right. it's. Yeah, elephant. It's like, hey, this is my place. Birds, human, 10% of all species. Jeez. These are the ones with the little pink ribbon on them. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, and again, it's had a long trip, and it's just getting its bearings, where is it, and uh, how does it feel about things? Amazing. But if you folks are patient, I'd like to wait another few minutes. We may need to release release this one, maybe pointing that way, and maybe it'll fly off. But it will try it probably to, to land in a, a perch fairly nearby. You know, some eagles actually do specialize on fish, and others have switched over quite happily to all of the other abundant uh -huh. prey. In We've the seen climate. them coming to shore like this. Yes. <laughs> With them, yeah. So, um, and I like this idea because it was a bit of green, you know, if it, if it had to kind of... It's like a runway. Yeah, no, really, if it had to, it's really perfect. Well, I don't want to pull people up here because I, I think they're right. I don't think that bird's going to move for Well, I mean, we could take it up to that lawn over there. Yeah. May I suggest something? Let's just move it back here, give it a few more feet. Which is a good sign. It's right in the fingers. So, everybody's ready. We will see what he wants to do. Good. 
some spacing between the two birds. Good, great, well done, wonderful. That one's gone. Oh. Oh. It's the ultimate feel good, eh, Mike? Oh, it's wonderful when, when uh, you see them flying again. Oh, he's the tree. Yeah, he's still up there. He hasn't moved. Yes. Yeah. Cleaning himself. He's getting his wet feathers in yeah, here. He's cleaning, huh? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, there's a bird up there. There is a bird. Yeah. like a crow or a raven creamy. Yeah. The other one's higher up.